Hey, my name's Scott, and I brew beer with a buddy of mine named Sean. And uh, kind of a joke, we call it s, &S Brewing. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to label some bottles. So I like to use good quality paper. This is Southworth. Uh, it's 25% cotton, so it gives it kind of a cool vintage look. So the first thing we need is a bottle, some labels, and of all things, milk. Milk makes an excellent adhesive, and when it comes time to take it off, they uh, run run the label under a little warm water and they slide her eye off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a label and I'm going to get a little bit of milk and I'm going to dab it. But I don't want to pour it on the label or anything. I want to just kind of gently paint it on so there's not a lot of it on there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and line it up. Now the trick here is not to rub the label or smear it. So what you want to do is get a cloth or something. And we're just going to kind of push down on it. Just be patient with it and kind of get it to stick. So there's that part. Now we're going to do the small neck label. So I just rubbed milk on the counter here, so I'm going to wipe that off. And then I'm going to do the same process again. I'm just going to paint a little bit on there. And then, like I said before, make sure you don't rub or it just smears all over the place. So get it on there. Again, just kind of pressing down on it gently. And there we go. Bottle of s, &S Brewing Quaker Girl Oatmeal Stout, ready for drinking.